Hey everyone, we are Tow Couple. I'm Tom, the driver. And I'm Bunny, the backseat driver again. <laughs> the backseat driver. She is a great backseat driver because if you tell her, if she tells you to go left, it means right. And if she tells you to go right, it means left. <laughs> so, and if you ask her outright, point left or right, she's going to point the opposite direction. Of she's going to do this. <laughs> she has to figure out which hand is the right hand. <laughs> So anyway, today we're going to talk about um, our on a on a previous video we called it business insurance and we misspoke on that. It's commercial insurance. Yes, because you know, I mean business insurance would imply business. And we're doing a follow up because you know a lot of people are getting false information. Uh, this one driver told us, "Oh, my company is completely covering us." Completely covering you. Yeah, we see on Facebook a lot where people ask, who do you use for insurance? And we're seeing ridiculously low cost. And there's no way that they're being covered commercially. Now, we are in Alabama. So we go through Geico for our personal insurance. Putting my headset and, back um, on. Oh, I could hear you now. <laughs> Geico does not cover uh, commercial insurance at all. And at least in, in Alabama, the state of Alabama. At least in the state of Alabama. Now, and like I said, you've got to call around because, you know, people will say, oh, well, no, you got to go with this company. But each state is completely different from what I'm finding out. Well, I, I just talked to a gentleman and he's in Illinois mm -hmm. and he's going through his regular company. He contacted them. They do offer commercial insurance for RV transport. Our Geico told us specifically. No. And also it was... Um, a progressive. Progressive specifically. Now, a lot of people are swear that they're covered commercially under progressive. So I called and they said there are a certain amount of states that they cover for that, but Alabama is not one of them. Right. So you definitely have to know to ask the right questions. But now keep this in mind. A lot of people will go to do uh, RV hauling or transporting. And if you go to the yards and you talk to people, they'll say, why well, just use my personal insurance? Because they save $60 a month. Yeah. And you just, if you watch, and I'll put a link at the end of this video of why you should be using commercial, not business insurance, instead of personal insurance, we explain why. Because if you have a trailer attached to your truck, it has a transporter license plate. Yes. And if you're hauled off to the hospital and you got your placards, DOT numbers, whatever you want to call them, trigger warning, well, um, people are going to take pictures. Plus the fact that your truck is leased to the company that you're working for. Correct. So they're going to find out that information. And it's not going to be a matter of um, saying, oh, I forgot to tell my insurance company. Especially They're, if you've been there for right. a long time. And, and Geico even straight out told me, she, um, it, and they, you know, sent me into different directions. And she goes, please, please get commercial insurance. She goes, we are not going to cover you at all if you get in an accident. Right. And this is taking away from them. But this guy from Illinois says he got a quote and I don't know who he is with. It could have been any number of personal insurance companies for the unladen and commercial insurance, and they wanted $1,400 a month. Ouch. And that's a lot of money because mm -hmm. there are companies like we use, and we're paying a total unladen and commercial insurance of $340 a month. Now our unladen is 125 a month, and I know you can get it for 114 a month, but Indiana Transport at this time, April 25th, 2021, does not accept our previous company for Unlaid. And even though it was $10 less a month, but it was twice as much coverage, mm -hmm. they just didn't trust that right. it would cover us. So they would not cover it. They Now, p previous or pre people that have previously been with them, they can still use it. They can still honor it. But as a new driver, they would not take us with it. Correct. So we were able to keep our current commercial insurance where we where we're at. But because Indiana was so adamant about not taking the unladen, 
we had just paid first and last month. So we had like $700, $800 into covering everything that we decided that we just let it roll and then we'll switch over to the new company. Because you got a question. Why? why? <laughs> exactly. Why, why? Why won't they take it? So definitely, like I said, though, it's a matter of calling and asking the correct questions. And the first thing they're going to ask you is what state are you in? Not what state you're hauling in or what state you... They're going to ask what state your vehicle is registered in and what state you spend 50% of your time in, because that's going to determine if they're going to even offer you commercial rates. Yeah, because some states, they don't even offer commercial rates. We're having a hell of a time in the state of Alabama. And then another one is how much you're going to list your truck's value. Yes. And you got to be realistic. I mean, if you paid sixty-five dollars or $80,000 for it and the truck's two, three years old, be realistic. Look up a blue book value and list that because I'll tell you what, we immediately went on and said, we paid 80000 for our truck. We're going to list it as 80000 because for us to replace it would be comparable. Yeah. Yeah, that really drove up the <laughs> price of insurance a lot per month. So I think we listed at 60000 mm-hmm. and it brought it down to, again, unladen and and commercial insurance, three forty a month for both of them at two different companies. Right now, you know, you know, a lot of people are like, "That's an addition." I think it, for us, it was like additional one hundred fifty dollars a month to run commercial insurance That's versus what we're paying. Yeah, because we don't have the multi vehicle discount. Yes. So, but for us, one hundred and fifty dollars more a month certainly beats the alternative of losing everything we own. Right. Cause or God forbid we get in an accident and they cover because our insurance will cover everybody else. They're not going to cover us or our truck. Correct. And a lot of these companies, uh, from what I understand, uh, this is a learn as you go company. We'll always stress learn as you go that they're required to have liability insurance on the trailer, the load, that covers property damage and uh, physical damage and um, bodily injury to everyone else but you. Mm -hmm. Your truck is not covered. You are not covered. But everything else, I guess, is. Correct. So um, a lot of people think, because we talked to one couple, and they're going to get into it, and they're like, well, we don't have to get the commercial insurance because our company supplies it and i'm like you might want to question it so they called and question it and they said yeah we supply it and they call back uh, with their like excitedness and going we don't have to get it because they supply it and i'm like let me check because i am not i like to do a lot of research i don't take anyone for their word if you don't question it you get what you get yep so i started calling and questioning different companies and yes they're required to have liability, not comp and collision or comprehensive. Yes. So, and then it doesn't cover you at all. So if you're going down the road and if you talk to a lot of drivers and it just blows me away on the mindset is they tell people, don't go get that. Just run under your personal insurance. You know what? Just because they haven't gotten to an accident or a claim yet, lucky. Well, But because- your luck... Your luck, by doing that, you'll be the one that eats it. We've been in the business industry for several years. So not not the RV industry, but we owned our own business and have been around a lot of business owners. And what happens in a lawsuit, the attorney comes in and he casts a wide net. So he'll go after everybody and everything that's involved. The, The company you haul for, the company that you're the huh. manufacturing that you're taking from the dealership, the dealership, you yourself, personally, your wife, whoever might be on your lease of your truck, they're going to go after. And guess what? They're going to get the person that doesn't have the most money because they don't have all that money for the attorney. Right. And who's that? You. you. And so we're, we are basically just saying protect yourself. One thing that has always resonated with me is when years ago we get policies for our personal vehicles. The One of the questions was asked is, do you work for a pizza delivery company? 
if they won't even let you deliver for a, I mean, that was an exclusion, right. meaning you didn't, you couldn't qualify. And I'm thinking, okay, if they don't allow you to deliver pizza under their policy, what makes anybody think they're going to allow them to take a thirty, sixty thousand dollar RV down the road? Yep. And like I said, you also got to be careful because you get the people out there that are, um looking for it so they're going to do something to make you get in an accident with them so they can sue you that's why i have a dash cam i i I see a lot of dash cam videos from truckers and it doesn't help when these lawyers have all these billboards (laughs) going down the freeway (laughs) saying have you been in in an accident with a big rig call me i'm the hammer i can get you way more money than on your own and they literally, I, I see all these vi- videos of people brake checking and mm-hmm. purposely getting hit. What do you think is going to happen when they see your DOT magnetics or signs or whatever people want to call them, trigger warning placards? They, um, they think that it's an instant money maker for them. Yes, they, they know that you're going to have, or they think you're going to have commercial insurance. Mm-hmm. So I don't know of any proof, but I see enough videos of big rigs that I just, I don't want to take the gamble. No. Nope. And I'd prefer you not either because we literally just witnessed somebody that had an accident and he didn't have all the right insurance and they're not covering anything. Right. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. So. And, that- you know, another qu- real quick story. We had um, a business, not our business, but friends owned a business. Um, and in California, you... A new driver under the age of 18 cannot have a passenger for six months. Even though they had commercial insurance on their vehicle, they had every umbrella prop um, coverage on that insurance policy. Their daughter decided to give someone a ride home from school. She got in an accident and everything was null and void because she was illegal in the state of California. They lost their business and they lost their home. Well, it's yeah. not... It's not worth it. Well, to go, uh, another friend of ours, we we had a screen printing and embroidery shop. And one of the things that everyone does is they put their company name on their vehicle and everything. And like everyone else, my friend did the same thing. He had his screen printing and embroidery shop magnetics on and he got into an accident. And he calls me and he says, hey, don't put any signs on your vehicle. And I'm like, why? And he goes, because I got into an accident. And I'm like, okay. And he goes, I didn't have commercial insurance. And because I put my company name on my vehicle, automatically the insurance company said, it's a commercial vehicle. He goes, I was driving a personal. And they're like, then take the signs off. Yep. But again, like I said, somebody's going to take pictures. And especially if you go to a hospital, you're at the whim of, everything pictures and then the insurance company is going to go hey who has pictures and either the police or the other party is going to have all those pictures they're going to have your transporter plate pictures your license plates your truck pictures and those nice pretty dot numbers yep and they're big enough to read from 50 feet away exactly (laughs) so just do the right thing don't Don't listen to everybody that doesn't know and they're just speaking tongues. Call your insurance company. Find out. Tell them exactly what you're doing. Be honest with them. Don't hide anything from them. Don't hide anything. Say, hey, this is what I plan on doing. I'm going to go and pull RVs from Indiana to all over the country. And if something happens, will I I be covered? Just And they might send you up the ladder or send you over to... Mm -hmm underwriting they might have a lot of they might not know right off the top of their head because rv transport's a whole different right. animal like geico told me they're they're actually in the process of creating that new division but it's not yet there right so your state your insurance may cover you we hope they do because then you save a lot of money with Absolutely. the multi discounts and right? everything else but don't think you're covered make sure you're covered yes Absolutely. Because I'll tell you what, all the companies that you lease on with, they don't care about your commercial insurance. They only, they don't care about your personal insurance. They don't care about your um, commercial insurance, anything. All they want is that unladen yep. insurance policy because that's what they're required to exactly. show. So just cover your butt. 
Cover your butt. So I'll make the video cover your... Cover your butt. <laughs> your rump. Your rump. Your rump. Sorry. <laughs> For YouTube. <laughs> All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. We do have a contact page on towaycouple.com. Definitely go to towaycouple.com. Check out our resources page. We're constantly adding to it. If you think we should add something, let us know. We If we think it'll benefit a bunch of people, uh-huh. we'll add it on there. And we put links to a lot of stuff we think that are of interest to other RV transporters. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter, Tow Away Couple. And until next time, we'll see you down the road. See you down the road. <laughs>